Hello and welcome to the Astrology and Spirituality Show for Monday the 1st of March. Now of course this is the start of a new week and a new month and Neptune is going to be mightily important this month but you know Neptune has been quite a difficult influence over the last couple of years and even over the last few months in its right angle to the North Node. But as we start this new week, there's actually a great connection between Mercury, the planet of thought and talk, and Jupiter, the planet of growth and optimism, and of course also good fortune in the sign of Aquarius. And I think that can help us to start thinking beyond where we are today, to actually start to be uh, mindful of the direction of travel. There's still a lot of tough stuff going down, um, but there are some signs of positivity coming through as well. So those are the things that we can really focus on, but also we can start to think of the ways that we can change our reality through just being maybe a little bit more innovative, which the sign of Aquarius can be about. In a more material sense, Mars and Pluto are still in a smashing angle today and tomorrow. And also, the part of fortune is joining in with that alliance. So if there is something we want to achieve in the more earthly plane, then by being bold and very self-determined, we can make progress. Alisa, what cards have you chosen today? Today we're using the Rider Weight Tarot cards. So let's see what spiritual message comes up for us today. A few people have said that they themselves use these cards, particularly if they have a burning question. And I do understand that because they are very um, original. I think it was 1912 that these came out. 1908, so. 1908, okay. Yeah, used for a pretty long time. Oh, we've got two that have flown oh out. Word. Quite different cards. So we've got a couple of things going on here. We've got the Five of Cups, and we've also got the Page of Swords. The Five of Cups can really feel as though we have missed out on an opportunity here. If we look at the guy, he's kind of sad. He's looking at these three cups that have been spilt on the floor thinking, I wish I hadn't spilt those. I, I wish I'd have done something differently. I wish I could just turn back time and change things uh, in some way. But he also has two full cups that are behind him and he's refusing to see them. And I think we can all go through those things in life where we can you know, berate ourselves about the past or berate ourselves over what, what's happened and transpired. But let's not do that to the point where we're missing out on the optimism of the future. We've also got here the Page of Swords. So this is very much about the details. So if we're signing contracts or anything like that, it's really important to read those details over. And if we do have a youth in our lives who has been going through a particularly tough time, this really is a card to show that things may be getting better for them soon, but they also might open up to us in some way. So we could see ourselves being a bit of a mentor to somebody uh, today. Hey, well, that's brilliant. So thank you so much. We hope you have a great Monday. Please see underneath this video for your free daily horoscope. But for now, from the A team, it is... Goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from her. Goodbye. goodbye.